the AFC team that you think is most likely to be a new playoff team this coming season? Oh, wow. Um, well, you know what? It's funny because I had to see you catch me off guard. Like, it's Sorry, not, I already had in my mind the NFC team, who I think is going to. All right, so let's start with, let's start with the NFC okay, well, if, you, if you want to well, go first. Well, and, then, and, then, and now I'll t- I'll, I've telegraphed it's going to be the AFC after that. So go with the one that you got in your mind. Go for it. <laughs> Go for it. You know, you know how it is sometimes, man. You're already no, locked in on something. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> well, I'll set this up by saying this. I said this in January. Okay, I like right it. Right after they were, right after they were done, like mopping Lambo. Yeah. With the Packers, <laughs> it was Detroit. Rich. They mopped. This team. They mopped. <laughs> they is, has got it going on. And I know people are going to say, what? They drafted Jameer Gibbs and Jack Campbell in the first round. They don't know what the hell they're doing. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. And but they have a top three offensive line in all football. In all football. They have a quarterback who some people are sitting there going, hmm, was – did Sean get that wrong? Not not to say that, that, you know, that Matthew wasn't great out there and they won a Super Bowl with him, but Jared Goff is no throwaway, clearly. They have the future in Hendon Hooker. So that room just got stronger. And wide receiver, look, I, look, I, I understand that now, you know, you're going to have some issues with, uh, with depth, at least for the beginning of the season, with Jamison Williams' situation. But Marvin Jones, Josh Reynolds, Amon Ross St. Brown, these, Khalif, these guys, they can hold it down. They'll be just fine. Sam LaPorta, who they drafted out of Iowa, I got to see him in person this past year. He's going to be one of those guys who you wind up going, oh, another Iowa tight end that's going to, you know that's up for all rookie and and maybe a you know a, a reserve Pro Bowl or shocking. We've never seen that happen before out of Iowa tight end. And Jameer Jameer Gibbs and David Montgomery, forget it. That's that's one of the best one. You can put that up against any one-two punch of running backs in the NFL. Jameer Gibbs is a freaking super. Star. Lewis, I heard coming out of the draft, um, I'm wondering if you heard the same thing, that mm-hmm. that had Arizona not knocked on the Lions' door to say, we'll move up from nine, uh, from uh, where they moved up from to six. Uh, yep. Obviously, the, the Bears were sitting there at nine. But had yep. Arizona, after they dropped down, oh yeah, 12, had they not moved up from the spot that they traded back down so the Texans can go up to get Will Anderson? Had the had the Cardinals essentially not locked on knocked on the Lions door, they were considering drafting Gibbs before Bijan Robinson at six. That's that's I, what I heard. I heard that beforehand too. I heard before. Well, I didn't know that they were the team, but I heard that there were teams that had Jameer ranked above Bijan. I heard that too. Which, I, you know what? I mean, look, it's all it's all subjective, right? Of I mean, everybody has their opinions. Yes, Jameer though. Hey, watch his tape, man. I mean, you, you've seen it. He can go. He can do it all. In, in today's game, you know, it's a lateral as well as a vertical game. And he can play both games however you want to do it. If you want me to go downhill, I'll go downhill. You want me to go side to side and juke some people out and make them look silly in space, I'll do it. You want me to tackle them out of the backfield, I'll do it. Whatever you need me to do, I can do it. And I can do it with home run capability, which is just, that's today's game. And on the deep, look, this team finished 8 and 2 last year. The defense played some of its very 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 best in that 8 and 2 run. Aaron Glenn had them going in the right direction. Jack Campbell is a grown man. He is. At 652, he's a grown man. <laughs> the things that they did in the secondary with bringing in Emmanuel Mosley, Kirby Joseph who they drafted last year out of Illinois, the third rounder. He's the guy who picked off the ball, picked off Aaron at the end of the game last year. This guy's going to be he's going to be a Pro Bowler and all, all pros. Right. Okay, they draft Ryan Branson. They've got players, man. And the the best thing about it is, I know people, some people say, well, ex players don't make the best coaches and blah 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 because they you know ex players sometimes don't have the you know the patience to deal with guys who can't do it at the level that they did it. Well, Dan has gotten a group up there that obviously are great teachers too. Oh yeah, and they they connect with these guys in a way that that whole biting kneecaps thing, 
seems like who cares? Hey, you know what? Maybe more coaches need to be talking about that. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.